We found out a couple of days ago, um, Fiona, the CEO, rang us and let us know that it had all been like approved and um, that we were coming here for the announcement, obviously. Um, we had to fly, I had to fly here, so um, yeah, but yeah, really cool. Good to have everyone here together as well and yeah, as a team is awesome. Pretty excited, you know, I guess, if, you know, everyone's saying this won't be there, it'll be totally different to the other games. I don't know what any of that means, you know, this is going to be my first game, so, you know, the, you know these... COVID games will be my, my first but I'm really just focused on doing the best that I can when I get there um, I you know just trying to focus on everything that I can control and as you know opposed to everything we can't control but just excited to compete excited to you know just compete on the world stage against the world's best and yeah see how we go. It's pretty cool it's been a wee while coming obviously since last year everything getting postponed so yeah it's a pretty cool feeling because obviously it's been a lot of uncertainty around the last 18 months 12 months so yeah a big chunk of the last five years has been sort of plagued with injury, big foot injury, and that took about a couple, like two and a half years, I reckon, to feel sort of um, like I could jump and support myself with it again. But um, it's really only been this season where I feel like all the work that we did in those two and a half years, coming back from the injury, working on things that were boring and tiny to like they've all come together this season. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see where we get to in Tokyo. I put 29 centimetres on my PB this season, which was um, from Rio when I won gold. So I think, um, yeah, we're in a really good position. You never know on the day, but I'm really excited to get out there and just hopefully, you know, the boost of the international competition, which we haven't had in a while, will sort of bring out extra excitement and, you know, push me further. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I had never watched Paralympics before. I knew I had CP, but I... I kind of didn't think it was enough to make me eligible to be a para-athlete, not, not knowing what that is either, you know, I'm not aware of it being around the region. And I also only ever played able-bodied sport, so I grew up playing basketball and then, you know, tapped into netball, tried rugby, just stuff like that, but never athletics. And as you know, I started when I was real old, so 27, I started, picked it up and, yeah, I've, I've progressed pretty well and, yeah, it's been good. It's been a good three years. So. You know, I work with my sister, she's my coach as well and does my strength and conditioning. So we com you know, communicate on a daily basis. We have very transparent you know, communication to make this all work. As you might know, she trains in the South Island and I'm based here in the North Island, but we, we make it work. You know, we, we plan quite well. And uh, yeah, and then we, we just work really hard and, and make it work despite what challenges we face and stuff. She is a tremendous input into you know, me turning this into a goal and a career. Um, athletics, I mean, I wouldn't be here without her. It's been pretty great. I do what I do for the training. I enjoy training. Um, so motivation wasn't um, too big of a deal. I really used the last kind of 12, 18 months to work on some things that I don't usually have time to work on. Um, so in a sense, it was a bit of a blessing in disguise, but um, yeah, I've been working working hard back home with my coach and also the rest of our team on um, trying to get everything um, as good as we can for Tokyo. Yeah.